Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows from a USB drive onto your Lenovo Legion. This process will require you to be really careful, so follow the steps that I'm doing exactly. And uh, also, uh, there are going to be a few additional tools that you'll need. I'm going to talk about them in a moment. But first, let's talk about why would you install that. So you can do that be because you don't have any system or your system that you currently have is corrupted or just anything doesn't work. Or for example, you don't know the password to your account, then you can um, install from the USB drive and it'll of course remove all your files on your laptop that are currently here but it'll help you with um, with using your laptop if you've forgotten the password and cannot restore it so what we need to have is uh, the USB drive and also if you don't have any system on now or you just cannot access it uh, then you should need have another Windows PC that has uh, internet access because we will need to create the USB um, with the Windows. And also there is a chance, although I think it's low on Lenovo Legion, most laptops um, besides Lenovo Legion uh, have it more common that the Wi-Fi driver will not get installed. If it does not get installed, then you can uh, then you should have the um, access to an ethernet cable so if you have one that'll be great to just put it aside to make sure that we can use it later uh, in case something goes wrong but um, but usually it installs the drivers so you don't have to be worried too much and also make sure that your laptop is plugged into power before we begin and uh, you can leave it for like half an hour at least to make sure that it's charged up to a certain point um, before we begin and do not, do not unplug it during the whole process until I finish the video so I'm gonna put that laptop aside and I'm gonna use the other laptop uh, to create the USB drive so I'm gonna put it here it can be any laptop that runs Windows honestly uh, or PC that runs Windows uh, it's much harder if it like runs Linux and I think it may be even possible if it runs Mac OS so if you don't have a Windows PC near you you can just borrow uh, from your friend or something uh, then you need to go to a browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. Then click on download Windows 11. Now we can uh, find the download Windows 11 disk image for x64 devices and here we can just select that multi-edition ISO then click on download now and we'll need to select the language so I'm gonna select uh, the English International then click on confirm you have also more download options if you want to download something different but we'll just install the standard version 64-bit download and it will start downloading I'm gonna pause it now because I already have it downloaded on my drive but uh, you should just wait until it downloads it may take a bit longer um, than you would expect because it's a big file but now in the meantime we also need to find the tool that will allow us to create the bootable drive so you need to go to that website rufus.ie and now find downloads and as you can see here we have the x64 which is the most common and should work uh, most probably so I'm gonna download it and open it of course if it doesn't then try using this uh, x86 or in some rare cases the ARM64 but 
that is really rare, I believe. And if you uh, have ARM64 architecture uh, on uh, your laptop, then you most probably know it because it's pretty rare for it to be a thing. Then we need to plug the drive into that laptop. Let's plug it in. It should appear, I think. Yes, it has appeared. So um, select the correct one. If you have multiple drives plugged in, then make sure you have selected the correct one because it will delete all your data on that USB drive. So it's the best to unplug other USB drives if you, ha if you have any to make sure that you don't accidentally install it on the wrong one. Then click on select here and now find the Windows 11 ISO file. Now click on open. Then it will scan the image and now we can click on start. And by default, it'll want to remove the requirement for four gigabytes plus RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0 and for an online Microsoft account. I really like having those two selected because um, it ensures that I can install Windows 11 on my laptop, first of all. Uh, and second of all, it doesn't require me to get connected to the internet, but I'm gonna unselect this just in case you already have a USB bootable drive, uh, for example, bought from Microsoft and don't have these requirements removed. So just to make it as universal as it gets. Of course, there will be just a, a few main, minor changes like in the um, setup after installing Windows, it will give you a, an option to skip um, connecting to internet. And after you skip it, of course, we will um, be, um, we won't be prompted about uh, logging to our Microsoft account because in Windows 11, it is by default mandatory to connect to internet and to log into Microsoft account. By the way, if you remove the requirement and connect to Wi-Fi, then it will uh, still be mandatory to uh, just uh, enter the Microsoft account. So if you don't want to log into Microsoft account, first make sure that you skip the internet connection. Also removing the requirement for an online account, which will give you the option to skip internet, will help you in case uh, the Wi-Fi drivers don't get installed, because if they don't get installed um, and you don't have the ethernet cable, then afterwards um, you can use, uh, after everything is installed on that second laptop and you get into the system and it's set up, you can use that other laptop, which I have right here, or other Windows PC, or actually it doesn't have to be Windows PC anymore, just any device, and find the drivers for your exact model uh, for the Wi-Fi, and you will be able to install them. So um, Wi-Fi will work um, from then. And of course you will need to use uh, the other device because uh, the, uh, our Lenovo Legion will not have any internet access, so we won't be able to find the drivers online. And now when it says it's ready, we can unplug the drive and I'm not gonna need that laptop anymore because it most probably will install the Wi-Fi drivers and if it doesn't, I have the ethernet cable. So I'm just gonna put it away. And now let's get to our Lenovo Legion. And we can begin by first, before uh, we turn on the laptop, plug in the drive to the laptop, then click on the power button, which you can see here. And after clicking on it, you need to repeatedly start pressing on F12 key until we get to the one time boot menu. Now we should select with arrows the 
USB device and click on enter. Now let's wait a second. And now we need to select the language and um, and the time and currency. In my case, the touchpad works. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work in the installation process because it doesn't install the drivers automatically. So if it doesn't, then you should be using the tab key to move between sections of items. I don't know if you can see it well. I'm gonna turn the brightness down a bit. Now you can see that I'm moving between sections of items. And if I use the arrows, then I move between items within that section and then click on space to um, click on the button you're pointing on. So for example, to click on next. And you should be um, able to do all of that, but I'm gonna use the touchpad because it's very probable that it will work for you as well. Now keyboard or input method, I'm gonna leave it as it is and just go to next. Then install Windows 11 and I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings. Then click on next. Now it'll be getting a few things ready so we can just wait and then click on accept. Then it'll ask us where to install the Windows 11, I believe. Yes, and now uh, if, you, if you don't have any system installed and it wasn't installed uh, previously, you'll have only the disk zero unallocated space. But if you have had, then you'll have probably four, partition, uh, four partitions and an allocated space. So what we need to do if we have partitions is select the partition, then click on delete partition or Alt D on our keyboard, which will do the same thing. Then um, the other one, Alt D. and the other one as well and all of the ones from disk zero unless you have a partition that you only store files on and you know that partition and you are sure that you want to don't want to delete it then of course you can not delete it but um, you probably know if you have a special partition for files then uh, select the disk zero unallocated space and click on next. Then you can uh, click on install and now we'll just need to wait a moment. It'll not take too long but uh, you can do other things when the process because um, it'll do everything for you and get into the setup which I'm also gonna do with you in a moment. And now we are in the setup, as we can see. Um, the first thing we'll be asked is the country or region. So we can select it, then click on yes. Now the keyboard layout. You can also add another keyboard layout by, cl by clicking on add layout. I'm gonna skip it, then connect to the network. And of course, if you've removed the requirement, for my online Microsoft account, you'll have an option to click on I don't have internet. And if you cannot connect to Wi-Fi network, then you must connect to the ethernet network. 
uh, there is a port at the back I believe uh, at the back of your laptop but I'm gonna connect not this one mm, to this one then click on next now it'll start checking for updates and there is a high possibility of it finding any any so if it finds any you don't have to worry about clicking on anything actually you shouldn't click on anything nor unplug your laptop as i've mentioned earlier it'll do everything automatically for you and after it's done with the updates it'll automatically go to the next step And now uh, you can name your device, but I'm gonna skip it because it has to restart the device uh, while doing that. Now it will start checking for Windows updates again. And again, there is a high possibility of it finding any. And also there is a high chance that the updates that it finds now will take longer than the previous ones because they have to download and install but they are really important um, because these are mostly the drivers for um, for your laptop so you most probably will want to have some and after that we will need to log into the microsoft account so i'll just get back to you when this is downloaded and installed And now we just need to log into our Microsoft account um, if we have connected to the internet. So let's click on sign in. And now just enter the email and password. Or of course, if you don't have an account, you can click on create one here. And now we can create the pin to our password to, to, to our passcode. Uh, uh, to our account to um, secure it. Uh, if you want to include letters and symbols in this pin, you can do that, but I'm gonna do it only numerical. Now uh, you can turn on or off the location, uh, find my device, diagnostic data, inking and typing, and some tailored experiences. I recommend you reviewing all of that yourself. Um, I'm just gonna accept it to make it quicker. Now, if you have any backup on uh, this uh, Microsoft account, then the screen will show. If you don't have any, then it will not. But in my case, since I have, uh, I have backups, I can either click on continue to restore from this suggested backup or I can click on more options then select a different backup or click on setup as new PC which I'm gonna do then click on setup as new PC again because I find it much quicker now uh, it asks you if you want to what do you do on your laptop but I'm gonna skip it because I think it doesn't do anything besides personalizing the advertisements now you can also connect your phone to use it from your PC. I'm gonna skip it. Then you can also back up your OneDrive photos and transfer the browsing data from previous browser. I'm gonna skip all of that. Then you can also get the free trial of Microsoft 365 Family, but after one month free trial, you will be charged $130 so I'm gonna decline it and also you can um, get the Microsoft 365 basic which costs two dollars per month um, then uh, I'm gonna click on next to use only the free features and now it is finishing up and we're in everything was installed so you can uh, use your laptop and that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time